Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Python program to check whether the given number is odd number or a even number. Okay, so for doing that program, first we have to open the Python editor. Okay, and type the program. So n is equal to int of input of enter the given number enter the given number once I am writing the program then we, I have to explain step by step ok next if n modulus operator 2 is equal to is equal to 0 put colon ok so print given number is given number is even number given number is even number else colon print given number is odd number given number is odd number So this is the uh, Python program to check whether the given number is odd number or a even number. Okay. So before going to the explanation of the program, once you have to type the program in Python editor and save the program. Save the program as or or even dot py so dot py extension indicates that this program is a python program we are already see the c program c++ program java program file name dot c it indicates that it is a c program file name dot cpp it indicates that it is a C++ program. File name dot Java. It indicates that it is a Java program. File name dot py. It indicates that it is a Python program. Here file name is odd or even. Okay. Odd or even dot py is nothing but this is a Python program. So here file name is odd or even. Okay. And after saving the program, you have to run that program. Okay. So, before running the program, first, what is the syntax of if-else? Here in that program, I am using uh, if-else. Here, if-else. What is the syntax of if-else? If condition colon colon is compulsory if condition colon some statements statements can be written after one tab space okay corresponding if one tab space after that we have to return statements next else colon compulsory and write statements here here in the else block also statements can be written after one tab space. Okay. So this is the syntax of if else. If condition colon statements else colon statements. So this is the syntax of if else statement. Here already we are using if else statement. Okay. So now 
Now, what is the function we have to use that? So, that is a input function I am using in that program. So, what is the input function? Input function is used for reading the input from the keyboard. Okay, reading the input from the keyboard. Okay, so for example, I am uh, entering input 4. Okay, so now input of 4 can be read it as a string can be read it as a string okay now this string can be input for the int function so now this string can be converted into integer 4 okay here the input function is used for reading the input from the keyboard as a string okay this string input is passed to the int function this int function can convert the string input to integer so this is the purpose of int function and int function output is sent to the int function okay so now we go for program okay so n is equal to int of input of enter the given number Okay, in this one, first input of enter the given number. That means, so whatever the number that we want to given, that number can be read from the keyboard by using input function as a string. Okay, that string input can be passed to the int function. Here int is a typecasting function. So that string input can be passed to the int function that int function can be converted into some integer that integer value can be passed to the variable n okay now we go for if if n modulus operator 2 is equal to is equal to 0 so i am given for example here output is This is output 1. Enter the given number. Enter the given number. So I am entering the given number as 4 from the keyboard. Then the input function reads that input as a string. That string input can be passed to the integer. That integer value can be assigned to the variable n. So now that is uh, n is equal to 4. 4 can be assigned to the variable n. Now 4 modulus operator 2. 4 modulus operator 2 is equal to is equal to 0. So it is a true or false. So if 4 modulus operator 2 is equal to is equal to 0 that means so 4 can be divided by 2 to two 2's that is 4 4 is equal to 0 so this modulus operator function can returns the remainder value okay what is the remainder value we are getting 0 so therefore 0 is equal to is equal to 0 so that is True. Okay, so here if n value 4, 4 modulus operator 2 is equal to is equal to 0. That means 4 can be divided with 2. So here remainder value 0 we are getting. So 0 equal to equal to 0. So that is true. So now print the given number is a even number. So the output is given number is a even number given number is a even number okay next we go for output 2 enter the given number enter the given number so i am entering number as 5 same the input function can be taken as input of 5. 
So now five can be read it as a string. Now this string input five can be send it to the int int function. Then it returns the integer value five. Okay. So now now n is equal to five. So now n is equal to five. So now if we check. Five modulus operator two is equal to is equal to zero. So that means five is divided by two. Two two is four. One remainder. So what is the remainder value it returns? So that is one. So that means uh, one is equal to is equal to zero. So that is false. Okay. Now we go for now five modulus operator two value is. One one equal to equal to zero that is false. Then go to the else block. In the else block, one statement is there. Print given number is odd number. Here the print function is used for displaying the message within the double quotes or that is the parenthesis. That message can be displayed on the screen or a monitor. So that therefore. Given number is odd number. Given number is odd number. Okay, so this is output one and this is output two. So how we are uh, calculating the uh, logic if n is equal to four logic, n is equal to five logic, and this is the syntax of. Uh, If else, and this is the input function. How we are getting the reading the input from the keyboard? Okay, so this is the program. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your uh, friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. This is the program, and this is the output one, and this is logic. And this is output two, and this is uh, how to save the program, and this is the syntax of if else, and uh, these are the two functions that we are used in the program. One is input function, and another one is print function. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel name so Dibbala Srinivasara, and uh, share this video to your friends and classmates. Thank you.